Little tidbit on squatting today and the difference between front squats and back squats. Front squats, we're gonna set up the bar, chest height, at the lower portion of your chest is best, but uh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. I didn't mean to rhyme there. Um, so we're gonna get our hands shoulder width apart, put it up on top of our shoulders. It should come back and get you on the neck just a little bit. It shouldn't choke you, but Chris, you should have your neck packed back, but it should get you on your neck. And so that's a front squat, a back squat. We're just coming out a little wider. We're dipping underneath the bar. Putting it on top of our shoulder blades, you don't want it up on your neck. You want it on top of your shoulder blades, on top of that trap right there. And then we would be going in to our squat. We really don't use a ton of back squatting, uh, mostly because the front squat just is a little bit more superior. Uh, a lot of people don't deal with that position of the, uh, the bar on their back from an axial load standpoint. Axial load would be like gravity pulling straight down us or like more. Um, more stress directly on the spine from a back squat and some people don't deal well with their arm back in that position because of their shoulder and uh, from a postural concern if you have poor posture you're already being pulled down in a poor position whereas with a front squat it almost drives you into good position because you have to get here to, to get it because uh, it's pulling you down and then from a, how fast you actually pick up on the exercise uh, front squat is vastly superior. People just pick up on it a lot faster because it's kind of like walking downhill. You don't fall on your on your face walking downhill. You fall on your butt. So it's just a little easier for people to figure out how to get back into their hips, how to get in, in into their position, so they get more out of the lift. Whereas with a back squat, it's it's highly technical and it takes a while to catch on to it. Um, but then the shoulder, the posture, the axial load, a lot of people just can't take that as well as they can with the front squat. We can get a higher stimulus with less weight, which is nice. Um, and there's not like, there's a little bit of an argument going around on the internet right now is whether you go cross grip or whether you go uh, clean grip. I personally like clean grip rather than cross, than, than crossing in front. That would just be here, whereas uh, a cross grip would be more like this. Um, and that's just, that's just personal preference for me, for Adam Reese, not for anybody else. Most people actually end up liking the cross grip a little bit better, but those are some of the differences between why you would do a back squat versus why you would do a front squat. And if you're a power lifter, of course, squatting is your skill, it's your sport. It's like, it'd be like a football player not picking up a football. You have to do that kind of stuff. But we would probably be looking towards other implements like a giant cambered bar that's right behind you or a yoke bar, instead of having that bar on your back uh, in that position all the time, just from a shoulder posture and axial load standpoint on your spine. Uh, and we'd probably end up front squatting quite a bit more um, just because of all the reasons I already said. But that's some difference between front squats and back squats.